so welcome friends welcome to your channel efficient corporates so today we will be discussing about one particular tool uh, which is one of my favorite so the tool what it does it it will download all the pdf files which are there in a particular website okay so what it does it mean so uh, friends have it ever been that you visit a website and there are so many files which you have to click and you have to download and uh, basically whenever you click on a particular file it will download the pdf then you click on another link then, then you download that pdf and it may have like 10 20 30 100 of such pdf files to be downloaded so we'll see the examples of such site and then you'll also see how using a very simple python code we can uh, download such pdf files all at once let's start okay so for all my ca friends out there i think it's a very uh, common site to see and ICI site, yes, whenever we have to download our study materials, I as a student used to download a lot of study materials from this site only. So whenever you have to download the study material, what we basically do, we, we click on a particular uh, subject, then we go to the study material, then we go to relevant study material and we get all these PDF files to download. So what I used to do, I used to just write, I used to click and open it into a new tab and click one to one and all the files I used to download. Like we go to that file, then save it and then we um save it in some in some in, into some folder so that is how we used to do one by one so now you can see there are so many files around 25 30 files so we have to do it 25 30 times so can there be a better way of uh, doing it so yes there can be so this is one particular function which uh, is written purely in python and uh, i won't be explaining how each line works but you will definitely if you have some basic knowledge you will definitely be able to understand it i will give the, the, the code will be freely available on my github repository link will be in the description box so what does the code do i'll simply take this url uh, the url which has all those pdf files i'll copy paste the url now down for for now now i will take this function extract url pdf so i'll take this function extract url pdf and inside this i need to supply one parameter which is input url so input url will be the url of the ici site okay it's nothing but simply the site url i've copied pasted okay now after doing this you just need to execute it okay i'll delete all the files which i was just testing the code and it worked so I'm just deleting all the previous files. I'll just uh, right click and delete. Okay. So now our, uh, okay, the folder is empty. There's nothing into this folder. I'm just uh, running the code now. I'll press shift enter or you can click on the run button above. So as soon as you click on enter, what it does is it will scan whether the URL have any clickable link, which uh, which reaches to a PDF file. So that is all the URL will do. It will search for the entire web page and it will see whether it has any clickable link to a PDF file. It, if it has any clickable link to a PDF file, it will download the PDF file. And uh, at the end of the, the function, it will also give us an Excel file saying this is the PDF file name. Okay, the name you can see it's very different. It's like 6779, some sort of a number. Okay, so you have to I didn't uh, see the difference between the PDF file name and the and the text. The text will be initial pages, but when we click on these initial pages, the PDF file name will be very different. Okay, so that's the difference. So yeah, so these are the PDF files that have got downloaded. Also, one Excel file has been created. So uh, let's see what Excel file has been created of this. So these so the folder was empty. Now all these files have been downloaded just now and uh, yeah excel output output file is also created so now when we look at uh, this excel output file so what we can see it has three columns one is the text one is the url link and one is the file name okay so this is the pdf file which got downloaded and this is the text which are there like the salaries chapter it has that pdf file so in that way you can link because uh, we will be needing the chapter names in the pdf file now you will ask me that how we can rename all these pdf files so for that i have a very um i have a video which are like quite five six months old you can just simply type renaming files everything corporates and you will get the video by me uh, of how you can rename bulk rename the pdf files so it's a very uh, beautifully explained video and you can just uh, go and see that if you want to rename all these file name with this name then how can you do that it will take you not more than five seconds to rename all those files 
you can go watch that video in case of any doubts do reach me out at the comment section below so now similar to the ici site now when we are professionals we visit this cbic site a lot okay and this cbic site also has clickable link to a pdf file in sort of in the form of notifications right so again what we can do is we can the same code nothing needs to be done just we will uh, change uh, from the ici link we will just keep the gst site link okay extract url underscore pdf and then input url will give the cbic site link okay so once you give this you will just find um, uh, that whatever clickable link to pdf it has it will start downloading all those pdf files so now you can see it has gst concept uh, status is downloading the next downloading so now uh, i'll just uh, okay this central and you just see it is down in real time it's getting downloaded citizens trade new faq this uh, so all these files are getting downloaded i'll just uh, delete the previous files which uh, are the ici files which got downloaded now this uh, faq gst hindi and the new faq on gst second edition so all these are getting downloaded right now okay so in that way you can see eight files nine files got downloaded faq composition levi is getting downloaded now ai gst exemption got downloaded decision taken so all these files are being downloaded and uh, since now notifications uh, website is a very uh, big uh, very large website and the, it has around 400 or 500 notifications so it will definitely take some time to download all those pdf files but you can let this code run into the background and uh, you can do something else you can do all your tally or you can do all your uh, income tax related stuff at the background and it will just keep on running and once it is done it will generate that excel file as well okay so i think this is a very good tool whenever you get a uh, any link maybe rbi site or sbi site any bank site or some crude prices wherever you have to download a pdf file you can simply type this uh, function and give it a url give it the link of that website which has those pdf files and it will download for you i'm just interrupting it for now because i don't want to make the video very long by uh, seeing all those 400 files okay so i hope uh, you uh, you will be using this tool and you like the tool and uh, through this you can simply put any url any sort of url and all the pdf files with that url has will be downloaded in a particular folder which you want so do uh, so give it give it a thumbs up if you like it and if you have any queries or doubts you can put it in the comment section below or mail it to me in the mail id given in the description box so till then uh, thanks thanks for watching and see you again in the next video stay tuned